Hello everyone, in this video we'll explore differentiating hyperbolic functions. So we have three questions. In question one, we'll look at proving the derivative of sine x and cos x. In question two, we'll use the chain rule. And in question three, we'll look at applying the product and the quotient rule. Okay, so in question one, we're going to show that the derivative of sine x is cos x. And to do this, we're going to write sine x in its exponential form. So we're going to work out the derivative with respect to x for e to the x minus e to the minus x all divided by 2. And because we're differentiating with respect to x, we don't need to consider this division of 2. And when we differentiate e to the x, we get e to the x. So this becomes e to the x. And then when we differentiate e to the negative x, we'll apply the chain rule. So this becomes negative e to the negative x, all divided by 2. And then this subtraction and a negative becomes a positive. So we get e to the x plus e to the negative x divided by 2. And this is exactly the same as cos x. Okay? So to differentiate cos x, well again we can write cos in its exponential form, which is e to the x plus e to the minus x divided by 2. Again, we differentiate e to the x to get e to the x. And again, when we differentiate e to the negative x using the chain rule, we get minus e to the negative x, all divided by 2. And this is exactly the same as shine of x. So these are both really important for further differentiation. Okay, so in question 2, we're going to use the chain rule to differentiate composite functions with hyperbolic components. So we can break this down into two parts. We'll have shine of 4x in blue and a half cos of 5x in purple. And we can apply the chain rule where we'll say g is equal to 4x. So now we want d by dg of shine of g multiplied by d by dx of 4x. So we're working out the derivative of the larger function multiplied by the derivative of the inner function. And the derivative of shine g is cos g. And the derivative of 4x is 4. And now we need to substitute in the 4x back in place of g. So we get 4 cos of 4x. So this is the derivative of shine 4x. And for 1 half of cos of 5x, again we can apply the chain rule, where now we'll say h is equal to 5x. And we'll get d by dh of 1 half cos of h multiplied by d by dx of 5x. The derivative of half cos x is 1 half shine h. And the derivative of 5x is 5. So this becomes 5 over 2 shine 5x. So when we put these two together into our question, we get 4 cos of 4x minus 5 over 2 shine of 5x. Okay? Let's move on to question 3. Okay, so in question 3, we're going to apply the product rule to differentiate cos of x multiplied by shine of 2x. So we'll begin by letting u equal cos of x. So therefore, du by dx will equal shine of x. We'll let v equal shine of 2x. So dv by dx will therefore be equal to 2 cos of 2x. So the derivative will be u cos of x multiplied by dv 2 cos of 2x plus v 
shine of 2x multiplied by du, which is shine of x. So finally, the derivative becomes 2 cosh x cosh 2x plus shine of x times shine of 2x. And for question B, we need to use the quotient rule. So we'll say let u equal cosh 4x. So du by dx will equal 4 shine 4x. v will equal 2x. So dv by dx will equal 2. Then we'll substitute these into the quotient rule where the derivative will be v. 2x times du, so 4 shine 4x minus u dv, and dv by dx is 2, all divided by v squared, and the square of 2x is 4x squared. So now we can tidy this up by factorizing out the 2 and dividing it by 4. So now we get 4x shine of 4x minus cosh of 4x all divided by 2x squared. Okay, so thanks for watching. I hope that's given you a clearer idea on how to differentiate with hyperbolic functions. You can download the full lesson and worksheet from my website, mrmathematics.com. Another link in the description below. Thanks again and take care.